Sure, we have uh, three. Uh, number one, uh, we're working on a big uh, technical migration of just putting all of our brands onto one platform. That's a pretty big endeavor. It's going well, but that's a big challenge for us. Number two is we are really ho trying to convince our owners to go with us on our pricing recommendations. A lot of owners got hooked in COVID with very high price points, and some of those have come down. There's still very healthy growth rates if you compare to pre-COVID, but it's important to be flexible. It's important to remember that the consumer chooses among a number of different options. And the third one is increasing regulation. And we just want to make sure that we explain clearly the story of how good vacation rentals, holiday homes are for the economy, for owners, and for many of the rural places where we operate. Five years, I'm extremely bullish. I was asked before whether I'm a glass half full or half empty, and I said I'm a full, full glass kind of guy uh, when it comes to the sort of longer terms. And, and, the, and the reason for that are many is the demand trends are extremely strong. So this industry is going to keep growing quicker than the rest of the travel industry. Um, environmental concerns, you know, the fact that this is a much more CO2 friendly type of vacation, and and and, you know, so the strong, strong demand trends plus very strong supply trends as well. So with interest rates going up, more homeowners are going to need extra income. So we're very uh, sort of bullish about that. So yes, over the long term. Uh, and I think three, the product is getting better. Uh, so the quality of the, the stay is getting better. Things like reviews are, are improving. So that's going to bring more people into the sector and it's going to make it a you know, much more pleasant holiday for many people. No, it's always good. As I said when I, when I opened today, it's, it's always good to meet uh, industry colleagues and it's good to, to meet people who are doing slightly different things within the sector. I think you can learn a lot from that. I think in these days, especially meeting as humans face to face, extra important. I just think it's something you can, you know, it's very easy for social media to kind of divide people or whatnot. So being there in person is important. Uh, I think a key, key takeaway from me today was just how much the industry is innovating, uh, but also how much we need to work together, especially when it comes to lobbying efforts, when it comes to things like regulation, to make sure we, we educate our legislators in terms of what we bring to, uh, to the overall economies where we operate. There's many other strong lobbies out there, and we want to make sure that our voice is heard as well.